Imagine seeing people having their lovey-dovey moments ko barabara and your partner is 6,000 miles away. Because, yeah, that, that side of me is gone. It's gone, gone forever. As I was single, 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 ready to mingle. welcome back to my channel if you're new here you know as usual feel welcome feel very very welcome to the farm um if you're a returning subscriber hello like you know how we do <laughs> anyway if you haven't subscribed you know go ahead and do that team and yeah let's get straight on to the next video and if you haven't caught up on the previous episode like yeah so the topic of the day today is When I arrived in France, I was single, 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 ready to mingle. Single, 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 single. So, um, before coming to France, um, I was actually in a relationship. I had been for quite a while, so yeah, and I still am. Um, so, on my arrival in France, I had just convinced smartest amazing most beautiful woman in the world <laughs> to date me <laughs> i still don't know how i did it but i did no, i achieved <laughs> so i just going to start to date, to date me uh, so i was dating on, on my arrival in france hi grace yeah so i was dating still dating Um, on the dynamics of a long distance relationship so I think what helps is talking communication always helps so you need to let your partner know that you're applying for this program um, way before even before even while you're doing the application let them know so that they process early enough that you there's a probability that you'll be away this is surprising to attack is a part attack so yeah do that um, and then of course if it's a person you're dating i believe it's someone who wants to see you grow who believes um who will let you advance yourself and do things that make you a better person so yeah that should be it and then um when you come for the program you need to prioritize your communication of course be very intentional call each other text each other do fun things online don't let the distance make you guys drift apart yeah i think that's basically it and if for some reason you can't do it without each other which i don't know which reason that is um there's a possibility of inviting them over because the program i think allows you to do that so book a flight come see your go see your partner at home or let them come see you here yeah and that that should help you guys so it's not as bad as it looks it's not uh so for me it was a no brain of course because I was coming to France for like eight, nine months and we would be apart for all that time. Of course it would like suck for the both of us, but it was like a no brainer that we'll stay together. That that wasn't even on the table. Like we we'll, like we need, we didn't even need to discuss it because it was like well it because they're saying this we are breaking up, you know. So yeah, so of course we want to stay together, it was just a no-brainer, just went without saying, we didn't, I don't even think we discussed it, it was just there. Yeah.
I think it's pretty normal. Um, I get that quite a lot. Uh, I think it's just normal. It's expected. I think what um, stands out for me here is like people are more decent so most times if you tell someone to leave you alone or you just say you're not interested they leave you alone and um, I only had two aggressive cases where people don't get that you mean no when you say no but you know what two is okay because I come from Nairobi <laughs> you know if you come from Nairobi you know two aggressive cases is not bad at all so yeah I think it was it was okay um the advances were oh and some of them were really cute actually oh nice <laughs> and um uh, the worst um was someone who asked me if i liked to stay in france and they wanted me to marry them because he said um, you know, most African girls, when they come to these European countries, they, 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 they like to stay here. So, no, you know, I like you a lot. If you marry me, you can live here forever and you don't have to go back home. I was offended. <laughs> you know, I, I just, I was so offended because he made it look like um, most black girls just want to marry guys for citizenship i was like you know I, I don't i don't even want your citizenship i'm fine you know i'm okay so yeah some people can really be annoying and yeah you just have to try not get offended and just tell them off respectfully calmly and if need be be as aggressive just protect your spaces yeah, so of course, I haven't made any romantic advances because, yeah, that, that side of me is gone. It's gone, gone forever. And have I received any um, romantic advances? Um, I wouldn't know. I'm, 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 like my, my radar for that is really low. Someone will come to me naked, but I still didn't know what they are talking about or what they wanted from me. So if you ask me if I've received any romantic advances, I really don't know. I, I don't think I care, but I really don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> romantic advances! Yes, I've made had received romantic advances. Uh, so when I, when I got here, the first okay, when I started getting bored and had nothing to do, the first thing I did to meet people was guess what? Tinder. <laughs> yeah, so I I met a couple of people on Tinder. Um. And then after some time, I just stopped meeting people on Tinder. I deleted the app and moved on with my life because I just didn't feel like it served. It was what I was looking for. And what people had to offer on the platform was definitely not what I was looking for. So yeah, I made romantic advances on Tinder. I had a car crash in my school. Um, a teacher. Yeah. Um, what else? Yeah, I have received a few romantic advances. <laughs> Let me tell you, one day I'm walking on the road casually, fully dressed, with a pool neck, a jacket. I even think I even had a Marvin jeans in Africa. Basically, the only skin you could see was my face. Someone just stopped the car. And I was just like, Excuse me, sir. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want with me? What? What do you want, sir? He? Somebody just kept on walking. Huh? Be silly, we all. What is that? Just stops the car and then he just looks at me and then he's just like, I'm sorry. Mm. Okay, so 
another weird one was one day when I was going to the house, some guy, some guy, he comes up to me, he comes up to me, and the hair situation that I was going on there, oh my god, I was just not, and then he was speaking in French, and those were the times when I was so fresh, and my French was just nothing. So I'm trying to tell him, no, I can't talk, I don't understand. Then he's just like, ah, okay, then give me your number, nini, nini, we can't talk. So I was just like, you know, I can't, I don't even have the energy to start explaining why I do not want to give you my number, so I gave him. And eventually it just turned out, those people who call you like 15 times, I don't understand. Why are you calling me 15 times? I don't know you. You're, my mother is the only person and my father. My family, when they are worried, they call me 15 times. I went to a minute ago. Why the hell are you calling me 15 times? Why? Why? Are you crazy? Ume, out somewhere. Yeah. And then some other day, I'm walking. And I'm talking to my friends on the phone. It was at night. And some guy just comes and randomly interrupts the conversation. Like, seriously, I'm literally like this, talking to my friends. And this... I'm just like, eh, sir, what's not happening with your life? Literally just walking, talking to me. As I talk to my friends in my earphones, yani I even had to stop and be like, eh, is that a problem? Like, what's not going on? So the same thing, I made, I didn't have the energy and I bet he was, and I was coming near my place. So I bet he was going to continue working with me, had in my, my house. So I just gave him my number. I didn't have the energy to be like, no, no, you know. Yeah, so I gave him my number. He, now this one is another one. 10 times a day. Who calls you 10 times? I blocked him and he still calls. And then this one is a funny one. Hey. He went, took someone else's number, took someone else's phone, called me, and then when I picked, you know, I just, I was like, eh, this number is weird, I don't know who it is. Maybe it's just like one of those, I don't know, someone, I don't know, just something, something that might be serious that I need to take. Hey, and then he's just like, hi, I tried calling you, and I speak in French. I tried calling you, so you how many times, what's wrong with your phone? And then, and then, and then, and then, and then. I just hung up and I blocked that number as well. And I still see those calls, like five calls and three 13 messages. And I'm just like, young man, can you get the message? And then there was this the one time a student was a student at my school. And I'm just like, so I told him, like, excuse me, I'm here to teach. I'm basically your teacher. Okay, he wasn't my student personally, but yeah. And then he's just like, oh no, can I get your Facebook? My Facebook as why? As who? As why? As why? Why? And then um, I'm casually walking around town. So of course he comes from this town. And I'm casually walking around town and then I feel someone following me. And then I see it's this student of mine. I'm just like, ah, so there's one time... He followed, he, he done that like twice. So the third time I saw him and I stopped where I was and I waited for him to arrive where I, where I was. Then I started, I told him off. I was just like, are you crazy? Why are you following me around town? Why? That's creepy. Cre hey, I was shouting at him in the middle of the road in France, in French. Please, you guys, you already know my French is. So you can imagine the struggle. Ah, ah, pan. I haven't made any. I've received a few. One we had one was in the supermarket. You know, like those things when you see people bumping into each other with their trolleys. So me and this guy bumped into each other with our trolleys. I know, like a movie. Um, but he was an old, 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 old man. So anyway, yeah. So he was like, like you go, you go, no, you go, you go. Oh my god. So anyway, eventually I went before him. Then we met in another aisle. We didn't bump into each other this time. We went in another aisle. And he was telling me, oh, you're so beautiful. Um, can I get you? He was like, 
do you but he was he was being so respectful he was literally like you're so beautiful i just look at you and wow and he was like but are you in a relationship i just want to know and then i told him yes even though i wasn't poor guy poor me why poor guy poor me so anyway um yeah uh i told him i was in a relationship because he was so old and i felt like that was the only way he would leave me alone then he was like okay but just know you're beautiful and i was like i appreciate how respectfully he hit on me he didn't like whistle he didn't do anything crazy like that you know men do and he was just so respectful about it and i really enjoyed that um any other thing another in here you know here there are assistant aides like i mean student aides there are stu- people who help students with problems like physical or mental learning disabilities so one of them they are really nice people one of them tried to hook me up with like the guy in charge of student affairs to tell me how he's such a nice guy oh he's such a stand up guy he treats everyone so well but then like I was like that's her who's like insisting he I don't know if he was interested so yeah that's as far as it's going ask you if i've been in a relationship in france Mm-mm. no i have been on dates in france uh with french guys and west africans west african but i've not really dated dated like being in a serious relationship for the short time that i've been here i've not been in a serious relationship with anyone but i have gone on a few interesting dates which are pretty nice i liked i like the whole vibe of the dates and everything um the first the first thing someone asks you is not where you live i really hate that question by the way man to where do you live how do you do it but as in, you know it's like let's go out for a drink or something let's go out for dinner let's go out for yeah and that's pretty that was that was pretty nice so i've gone on a few dinner dates drinks dates and yeah but i haven't really been in a relationship with somebody i'm a kelka No, imagine, imagine. I I actually didn't get to date anyone in France. Mesha ni boring. Imagine just seeing people having their lovey dovey moments kwa barabara and your partner is 6000 miles away. So, no it. No. I didn't I didn't date anyone here. So, as a man, straight man, I wouldn't know. But like from what I've heard from, you know, from other other ladies, uh they, they were talking about experience. It wasn't like what they expected for some of them. You know, like coming to France, you know, you hear this story that like, you know, French men exquisite, classy and stuff. Uh so on coming here some of them were saying like um the, the, the french men were an aggressive like even if you tell them no this like they just want to like uh, still come up to you that's super aggressive which is which is not a, like a good quality for to have as a man when approaching a lady and uh, also um i had I heard that they were told like the French men like for example for the ladies from let's say Kenya it's like it's assumed that it's like like 90% of the time it's actually the man who does the heavy lifting is like the man who's going to notice a lady then approach approach her you know like kwa mr dzako dem akipenda mpenda ka ajipenda unajikata unajadu kwingine but in the other frenchmen 
of course not all <laughs> just talking from like from the experience i've had it's it's them it's like the other way around it's like them who want to be approached so and and the time they let that they approach you they don't know how to do it they don't know how to like converse ilo vizuri like eh kama unakatia dia mkuhol dia kuna shughuli vizuri so they don't know how to do that that's for the experience i'm just talking about experience that i've had so obviously it's not all french men of course they have good ones out there for you guys <laughs> going looking for french men so talking about talking from what i've had it's like mixed some have had good experiences some have had bad experiences so okay. um, i can't say yes or no um simply because i haven't had an experience with french men but um, from what i've seen and from what i've observed um i think the rule is not general cuz it's the same way there are kenyan men who are really romantic and there are those that don't even know what romantic means it's the same way here like we took a ground in different sana there are french men who are romantic and there are those the ones we see in the movies they exist of course but there are those that are not so it's not automatic that if you're dating a french man they'll be romantic Uh, but allow me just to for my experience no <laughs> i don't know i just me when i was coming i really expected some serious you know roses on your door you know just the movie stuff and then i came and found that <sighs> they just normal they're not at it Oh my god. Um yeah, this it's that just normal guys. I feel if I got like all other guys in my opinion, that just fuck with you. Kama kawaida. Kama wanaume wa kawaida. Fuck with you. It's not and a french man romantic. I wouldn't know. So we've come to the end of the video today. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this episode. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Um if you have any different opinions about love and relationships in France, please feel free to leave them down in the comments. Tell me if you found a like a romantic Frenchman somewhere. Mwabia ni tumie marafiki zake. Anyway,